That's what I want to know. If you have this phone, leave a comment down below. Let me know how you feel about it after watching this video. All right, guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man, Jay. So people are excited about this phone because of the specs. Um, let's just face it. It has everything a person could want if they're into specs uh, by today's standards. 6.18 inch display, basically a 6.2 inch display, uh, six gigs of RAM or eight gigs of RAM. So the six gigs of RAM models have 64 or 128 internal storage. This is the 128 internal storage version. Uh, but predominantly, I see a lot of people have these 64. So this is the 128, as you can see there. Uh, and then you get a 12 megapixel and on the rear, uh, coupled with a five megapixel depth sensor. And the lens on the zoom on this thing is eight times in 4K, and it's really, really good. No 60 frames per second, at, at, you know, at that point, but it does have EIS at 1080 at 30 frames per second. That's pretty sweet. Um, and on the front camera, it is a single 20 megapixel camera. That's why it's so good, and it shoots at 1080p. Um, it has a Snapdragon 845, obviously. Uh, you know, it's got all the bells and whistles. It's liquid cooled, uh, supposedly, you know what I'm saying? Um, and it is a plastic frame, uh, but inside that plastic frame, I get a 4,000 milliamp hour battery. Can't beat that. So that is why people are excited about that. Also, you get stereo speakers. Now you can't see these things, but technically you can, but you get a headphone jack, stereo speakers, type C. And I mean, you get a fingerprint reader and a nice dual camera setup back there. I like the way that looks. And my SIM card is in here. I'm actually using it. Now, one of the main things that people have asked me is what, uh, in, the other, in the other video, someone asked what band are you on for when you're doing the LTE test for T-Mobile? So, um, I understand that. And I am um, access, allow. And this will give some sense of what band I'm on when I run a speed test. Um, but for now, you can see this is just HSPA Plus, as you can see right there. That's what it's on. And uh, let's show the advanced. So level four, it doesn't show any of the bands yet. Network info 12. Nonetheless, there's a neighboring tower right there that I'm on. And this is all GSM. You see there's no LTE right there so i want to go back in and start this video again like that because people are concerned about that uh getting this phone some 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 people were like well why would you review this phone if it's not technically getting lte speeds in the u.s really got to get over your feelings folks i mean <laughs> if a phone is good and it works not everybody is concerned about lte speeds like the average consumer i'm talking about like they're not going around doing speed tests on their phones we are they just want to make sure that they can stream at the highest, you know, and best frame rate and the, you know, the smoothest rate. That's what they're looking for. So, you know, I don't mind stepping back into this 15 down on a phone over 3G is really, really good, man. I've been streaming on this thing. It does everything like I should. I've been I've been getting about 15 on this almost every time. And this is inside my house. So if I leave my house, it'll probably be even better speeds. So. This is another speed test for those people who are just into that. Um, it is what it is. And my uploads have been shooting up to eight, and then they'll drop down to about right there. So, you know, the signal thing, more importantly, what about phone calls? That's what's important. Phone calls and everything on here are absolutely great. I just don't have a problem with it. And I didn't anticipate having a problem with them. Uh, I just need to stress that because in reviews, a lot of times I don't discuss phone calls and call quality unless I have an issue. So check that box. If you if you watch my reviews all the time and you wonder why I don't talk about um, call quality and stuff like that, it's because I'm probably not having an issue. And that's really all that is. That's that's the reason why I don't talk about it too much. But that's what it is, man. So this is the global version. This is a phone that's specifically made for India. Uh, but you again, you can grab this and use it in the U.S. faithfully. You know what I'm saying? So let's step over to, you know, some important factors about this phone, which is definitely going to be the screen size. Now, this is a pretty nice screen size, man. So I want to go in here and show you how I turned off the cutoff at the top. So you go over into full screen display, and this is also how you can flip your buttons around, because when you get your buttons, they're going to be backwards like this. And I say it's backwards, but if you're a left-handed person, you probably think that's good. Shout out to Prestine Tech. He's a lefty. 
So you hit that and it mirrors back to what it normally should be. And this is the area right here where it says you can hide that thing. You know what I'm talking about. I think it looks pretty good like that. I've been using it like that. You know what I mean? So I don't know. I've just been using it like that. So I haven't tried any other launches on here, even though I can, you know what I'm saying? But I, you know, I have some launchers that I normally would use when I'm testing the phone in the first 48 hours or 72 hours. Uh, but I left this because, you know, I like the Xiaomi skin. You know, I like it. I have themes in here. So I can go to the theme store and I can load up a theme if I want to. The good part about the Xiaomi store is that most of the, the themes are free. You know, a lot of theme stores, they charge you here in the U.S. They're charging for these things, man. They're charging you for a color. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> of a theme it's it's off the charts man oh this is crazy right here all right so i downloaded that theme right there and we're gonna apply it and man yeah that's fire right there i like that that black and red type deal see i have one like that on this one um but i have it i have i switched the launcher on this one for now just to test something else out but that black and red right there is nice, man. I wish the whole inside of here was was black and red, like also in the app tray and everything. Really feeling it, man. And that's the great part about a phone like this. You can customize it right out of the box. So anyway, hardware wise, this is a plastic phone and I don't care. It feels good. You get a matte back. You know what I'm saying? You get a nice black and red little theme back here on the cameras. And more importantly, I have a headphone jack. Audio and um, when you're recording video is absolutely great, man. I just haven't had any issues with that. And I'm surprised at how well this 20 megapixel camera actually works. It's kind of crazy, man, that this phone is packing so much. Um, but you got to give it to Xiaomi, man. I've always supported them and uh, I'm going to continue to do so. And that's just the way it is, man. You do have five gigahertz Wi-Fi on here. Now, let me say this. I was having some problems with my Wi-Fi, man. It, it wouldn't stay connected for some reason. Like, um, I was trying to demo it right here now. And I'm going to try to do another speed test. And it, it, the Wi-Fi just drops off no matter where I'm at in my house. Uh, it'll just drop off. And then it'll reconnect. And, um, you know, maybe it'll do it right now. I don't know. See, yeah, it just dropped off. See? And then it just came back. Um, that could, and it's not happening with all of my phones. And, but I will say this does happen with some new phones once I actually start using them. And, um, all you have to do is reset your router or not, you know, unplug it, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, you should be back on point. This will probably fail cause that's what it's been doing. Um, uh, but good thing is the three G works just fine for me. So yeah, it failed. Uh, but if you're having that issue right there, you know, shout it out in the comments. It's not enough for me to say, oh, my God, I'm returning this. Mm -mm. I like this phone, man. I, I really do. And I just don't have any quarrels about that. The good part is I have fast Internet in my house and outside of my house. So I'm happy with that. 2.0 type C, you know, what I'm saying they cut corners some places, but this does have fast charging 18 watt charger. Uh, you can obviously buy faster, you know, high, more high power chargers than that. But. I'll leave it up to you. I would say just use the one that comes in the box. And, you know, that's probably what you should how you should probably handle that. You know what I'm saying? But that's your choice. I say this is a this is a hot commodity right now. People want this phone. And there's a lot of people in the U.S. using this phone right now. I didn't know it was that many people using it. Uh, but apparently it's the thing. You know what I mean? So I'm excited about it. I hope you're excited about it. I wanted to give you my... Um, uh, you know, after I've been using this for a little while, because remember I bought this a week ago, but I didn't start putting out footage until recently because I was covering the iPhone 10 S max. Now I'm going to move on to the iPhone 10 R for coverage. I only want to do so much coverage. I'm going to have a full review for that iPhone 10 S max in a little while. Uh, but for now I gotta, I gotta give some attention to this phone because the next S is a phone that I'm just, it's my top phone. And that's just what it is right now for Android. It's my top phone, but who's to say that this phone can't take that spot. So um, battery life on this thing is, has been good so far. Let me show you my battery stats. Um, get down into it. Additional settings. And then, uh, wait, I'm all over the place, man. More settings is where I should be. And nope, I guess not. I, I just switched to this theme, so I'm missing the battery. You probably, y'all probably looking at it like, Jay, the battery's right there. Yeah, there it is. All right, so battery usage. Let me show you what I'm working with here. 
So two hours and 45 minutes pretty much. And I have 58% uh, left. Shout out to Technically T. I will holler at you about that T. Um, but yeah. So basically three hours so far almost with 58%. With so at the 50% mark, I'll definitely be at three hours more than likely. This is a good size phone. Um, and I I just I just like the way it feels, man. It's a good size phone. It kind of reminds me of my beast right here. I wish LG had a red and black theme like this. I'm pretty sure they do in their theme store. I'm going to have to go check that out. I'm pretty sure they do. Uh, but the, the G7 feels a heck of a lot better in hand because it's narrower. But this phone is really, really, really complete. I'll probably put these two against each other. You know what I mean? Because I already put it up against the Vivo Next. And if you haven't seen that video, it's probably not out yet. Or, or I just got done recording it. I don't know. Or it's out, depending on when you're watching this. But... This phone right here is a monster, man. It is a monster. These phones are about the same size. However, this one is narrower. So it feels even better in the hand than this one. Man, I got some nice phones, man. Thank you, Lord, for hooking me up with a nice hobby. So anyway, this is the Poco Phone F1. Um, this is a this is a win, man. I, I don't, I don't, I'm not going to be no hater, you know what I'm saying? Because I, had, I said initially that I just didn't want to mess with this phone because it was just all over the Internet. Everybody had covered it. But I have to, you know, if you review phones and at that, that's this price, why wouldn't I get this phone? I'm just happy I was able to get the, the 128 gig model for 385. So remember to check that link in the description and you definitely will see the current price. And it fluctuates, so keep an eye on it. If you can't get it for 385, remember, this is the 128 gig model. So if you can't get it for 385, I'll post the 64 gig link down there as well. So you can decide what you want to do. Anyway, it's your man Jay, man, um, and I'm really loving this phone so far. I'm not going to front. Uh, it's not hard to use because it's a good size. And then, you know, this is what it is. I'll see you in the next video. Leave a comment down below if you have this phone. That's what I want to know. If you have this phone, leave a comment down below. Let me know how you feel about it after watching this video.